And if we're able to discover where the mutations are, now the technologies are coming along that will be able to cure them. Kathy Wood is our guest now. Kathy, thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I'm very happy to meet you, Shep. Thank you for having me. You know, my unbusiness educated self would say you seem to bet on companies, not so much per se, as you bet on the world changing. Do, do you ever worry you're too early or too optimistic? Well, actually, the way we run our research, and research is the key to our success, uh, we focus on, uh, on uh, it, it's, a, it's called Wright's Law. Mm. Uh, it's a relative of Moore's Law in the semiconductor industry, just giving us a sense of how quickly costs are going to decline associated with new technologies. Mm. And it gives us a really good idea when different um, layers of demand are going to increase. I'll, I'll just give you a quick example. Electric vehicle sales, for example, we think are, are exploding. We think they'll go up 80% on average per year over the next five years. Why? Wow. Because the costs have dropped to a low enough level, and the total cost of ownership today is lower than that of gas-powered vehicles. So we're going to see exponential growth in the auto industry for the first time in 100 years. Wow. So given that, what's next in the mind of Kathy Wood? Well, I think, uh, you know, we've uh, Tesla absolutely is still next because uh, Tesla I'm in other is, sectors, you know, other big yes, stuff. Yes, other sectors, yes. Well, we're very excited about digital wallets. Uh, mm -hmm. So Square's Cash App and, and PayPal's Venmo are leading the way here. In China, it was WeChat Pay and Alipay. And we really think that these digital wallets uh, and two-sided marketplaces, merchants and consumers, on, uh, uh, on both of them, uh, are, are going to usurp a lot of the role the banks play today. Mm. It's going digital, going mobile, a little brand, uh, bank branch in your pocket or your pocketbook. Uh, and we're going to do uh, we're going to have all kinds of uh, financial services uh, available through them, including loans, debit cards, credit cards, stock buying, Bitcoin buying. Uh, so we think that's a huge, huge trend out there. We also think genomics in mm. the healthcare space. Uh, we for the first time, thanks to DNA sequencing, again, costs have come down low enough. DNA sequencing is going to introduce science into healthcare decision making for the first time. We can honestly say that uh, until now, uh, more than half of all healthcare decisions were in some part made through guesses or experiences. Now we're going to have the data. What has mutated in your genomic profile? What, what in the six billion bits of code in your genome, what's gone wrong? It's like a needle in the haystack. What's gone wrong? For the first time, we'll be able to identify exactly what's gone wrong. And with CRISPR and other gene editing technologies and gene therapy, along with artificial intelligence. So it's this convergence of DNA sequencing, right. artificial intelligence, and, and gene editing. We're going to be able to cure diseases that we never thought mm. it would be possible to cure, including cancer. Wow. Certainly, we'll be able to discover cancer in stage run one. Uh, a lot of companies uh, in Vite, Exact Sciences, uh, are helping us do that. And if we're able to discover where the mutations are, now the technologies are coming along that we'll be able to cure them. In stage one. That's the next big thing, yes. That's incredible. I, I'm so short on time, but you know, like other trailblazing women, you're a very successful leader in an industry that's really led almost exclusively by men. What, what have you had to overcome to get from where you were to where you are? Well, you know, I've, to be honest, I've loved being a woman in this industry. Uh, it's an incredible industry. The world is our oyster. I remember entering the industry in Los Angeles at Capital Group and saying, wow, I, I get to learn and I'm paid for learning. This is amazing. What happened to our industry, however, is it's gone passive. 
which is yeah. the opposite of the industry I joined. We're trying to bring active back into the equation because the changes we're seeing uh, from the innovation platforms evolving today are so profound that we really need real research. And you're getting it. Kathy Wood, I can't thank you enough for the time. Uh, hope thank to you. see you again very soon and all the best.